That's armor for your shoulders and legs. The downside is that you won't be able to carry cargo on top of it. You'll have to weigh the pros and cons. Remember, Sam, when the clock's ticking, speed is what matters most. Review. Weapons restrictions lifted.
local terrorist cell. Former mules who took a turn for the worse. Steely cargo doesn't do it for them anymore. Mayhem and destruction are their drugs of choice now. But you didn't give them the satisfaction. You kept your cargo safe. Great work. I doubt you've seen the last of them, though. Keep your eyes peeled, huh? Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Someone slipped explosives into a parcel we processed. Separatist assholes think this land is theirs for the taking. They may be right. Any one of us could have handled that package. Fuck me. We have to be more careful. Beef up our security. At least we didn't lose anyone this time. Thank you, Sam. Really. I, uh... I hear the chiral network is coming along. You think the signal's strong enough to reach us here? <sighs> I hope so. Give it a try.
jogging for info. And if we run into any more trouble, we can get the word out sooner. I can't thank you enough. All right, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Higgs and his people came. They finally reached Echnoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Some new info you should hear. 
recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BP program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. The people of Mountain Hunt City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal.